Hi, I'm Damien Merry from Luxury Property Partners and today it's my absolute privilege to bring to you my latest new listing here in Lower Basildon in between Pangbourne and Goring. Behind me is a beautiful family home over 6,200 square feet. To my left, an 800 square foot cottage was sat in 1.3 acres, a tennis court, an outdoor heated pool, a party barn, and surrounded by 400 acres of the National Trust grounds, which you can use owning this property. We've got Pangbourne College and Bradfield College within 10 minutes, some of the finest schools in the country. This is an incredible farmhouse. Welcome to Mapleton Farm. So welcome to Mapleton Farm, this beautiful brick and flint built country home, a farmhouse very much loved by the current owners. And we're here in the heart of any home, the kitchen. And it's got such a great feel about this space. I love the big island in the center. Got a lounge area to my left, a little breakfast area. The Arga I really love. So they have to turn this off in the summer because it gets so warm. So what I have to point out straight away to my right, incredible views, 400 acres of the National Trust grounds. And I know Pride and Prejudice and The Gentleman was filmed up here. Something's actually being filmed in the distance at the moment. So the good thing about it being National Trust, nothing will ever get built on it, which is incredible. And if you own this house, you get to use that 400 acres. So if you've got dogs, or if you like to walk, perfect. So nice tall ceilings. I love the exposed beams in here. So before I show you the rest of the house, I've got to take you to the party barn to my left. This place is incredible. Never seen anything like it. And what party barn wouldn't be complete without its own disco ball. Ooh, that sugar sweet. You got what I need. Sipping on the potion. So I wasn't sure whether to put this disco ball on, but do you know what? It's so fun and life has been pretty miserable for the last few years for people and this is great. I can imagine, well, you could have 50 people in here. You've got the dining table, which you could move easily. Really, really tall ceilings. They must be 30 feet tall, exposed the oak beams. So I imagine for teenagers, this could be incredible for Christmas or New Year's. This could be a true party room. But then on a day like today, it's pretty miserable, pretty gray outside. You've got the fireplace, TV, big sofa area. You can make it really, really nice and cozy in here. You've got the double doors that open right up to the incredible patio and your very own outdoor heated pool. You've got the all important bar as well, but I'm absolutely in love with this room. Never seen anything like it. It's absolutely huge. I'm six foot two and I feel like a baby in here. It's incredible. So you've got a utility room in here as well to my left and the barn doesn't end there. There's a staircase which will take you up to the next level. In fact, let's go and check it out now. So this is the first floor of the barn and this has been the perfect space for the current owners over the years. Obviously everything's boxed up, ready to go for their next move, but this has been used as a bit of a gaming area Obviously, teenagers, when they're friends, or you've got family that want to stay, you've got plenty of space for mattresses, beds, whatever you want up here, but they've had ping pong table, pool table, and they've also got this set up as the gym. So a great place to work out. Obviously, you've got the double doors here that open, bit of a Juliet balcony, overlook the pool. I mean, the views are just incredible. I can't wait to show you that a bit later once it clears up, but there's another level to it, which is perfect for storage, for suitcases, dresses, shoes, whatever it may be. The whole house is just over 6,200 square foot. So I've shown you the barn and the kitchen. Let's go and check out the rest of it. So before I take you back downstairs to the main house, got to point out this iron staircase, spiral staircase. But to my right here, you've actually got another doorway which leads you upstairs to the main property itself, to the other bedrooms. Show you that in a second. So we're coming back through the kitchen now into the entrance hall. To my left, you've got the downstairs bathroom. 
There's another room here which is currently set up as the nursery, which could be bedroom number five or the perfect home office, but there is actually a dedicated space for an office. So you come up a few steps into the main lounge of the house, and again, what an incredible space this is. Tall ceilings, they must be eight feet tall, big sofas in here, lovely working fireplace as well. May put that one on, it's a bit miserable today. Big TV on the wall, and it actually leads you to what is a dedicated office, and I like this on the door. There's always a bit of a secret door, and this is a good space. So again, I like the views here. You can overlook the drive. The postman comes, you've got any deliveries, good for that. And you're almost separate from the main house as well. So you've got complete privacy. And what's really useful about this office behind this wall is something that is very, very necessary. Not for me. Maybe for me. Definitely for me. So there's a cellar here where you can store at least a thousand bottles of wine. And the current owner is an avid cyclist, got his bikes on the walls here. So just in front of me, we've got another door that leads to a bit of a workshop area so he can do any maintenance or repairs on his bikes. So that's downstairs. Now let me take you upstairs. So we're coming back through the main lounge now and I'll take you to the first floor. So we've got four bedrooms on the first floor here. Obviously the other bedroom downstairs. Love this artwork of the line, but I'll take you to my left to the principal suite. So I love this principal suite and I really like being a previous carpenter is the exposed beams and it definitely does feel like a farmhouse but it doesn't feel like one of these old farmhouses that need renovating or modernization. It's perfect as it is, really, really lovely. And I like the ensuite bathroom. We've got the freestanding bath, double sink, nice shower, and again, views of the gardens gorgeous pond out there as well. So this is the principal suite. Now let me show you the other bedrooms. So what I like about the main bedroom being on this side of the house is it's completely separate, completely private. You walk along the hallway, you've got bedroom number two to my left. I know I keep saying it, but the views, they are world-class. Family bathroom to my right, really, really unique floor to ceiling tiles. You've got a variety of storage areas in the hallway as well. Bedroom number three, nice and bright, double aspect. And now bedroom four, another fantastic size. None of the rooms in this house feel boxy or small. Big windows, let the natural light flood in as well. And as I mentioned earlier, when we were inside the barn, and I actually quite like this space. This could be useful for a bit of a library area. I've got the seat here. So you've got the door that leads you to your party barn here. So one bedroom downstairs, four bedrooms upstairs, easily could add another bedroom in here if required. But the amazing thing about this property is also got a two bedroom cottage on the 1.3 acres. Let's go and check it out now. You can be So as we walk from the main property to the cottage, it's just worth pointing out just how quiet it is here. You hear the birds, you've got the pool in the background, big garden here. Actually got a tennis court here to my left, all part of the property. So this cottage is a really nice space. Perfect for kids that may be grown up who still want to be at home. Could be a good guest house, somewhere for friends and family to stay. It's got everything you need. I love the flint work that matches the original home as well. So you've got a kitchen area here with an oven. I love this bit, I know my kids will like this. There's a little ladder up there where you could put a couple of mattresses. Really, really cool. But it's got two bedrooms. So you've got one to my right here with a doorway that leads to a Jack and Jill bathroom. And just in front of me, we've got bedroom number two. And also here, just to my right, there's a family bathroom as well. But I'll quickly show you the Jack and Jill. So you can see the two doors lead to this. Sink, big bath, and another very spacious room. So I've shown you the main house, over 6,000 square foot, the two bedroom cottage, 800 square foot, 1.3 acres, outdoor heated pool, the tennis court, the party barn is incredible. But again, in my opinion, half the appeal to this property is not the house itself, it's not the 400 acres of National Trust grounds, it's a location. Pangborn, I love. Goring, I love. Let's go and check it out. Can... 
So we're just eight minutes from the property and we're here at one of my favorite restaurants, The Copper Club. So gorgeous restaurant, indoor and outdoor dining right on the river. You've also got my favorite Indian restaurant, Masoom's. And George Michael's house, his previous house, was just across the river. Really nice coffee shop. Very, very picturesque place. Great if you like to walk dogs or ride your bikes. So that's eight minutes from the property to the left. And to the right, five minutes from the property, Pangborn. So we've just come out of Pierpont's Cafe, grabbed some incredible cakes. I know Matt behind the camera is dying to tuck into these. So really, really good place. Just a few minutes from the property. Time to enjoy a coffee in this miserable English weather. So we're just five minutes now from the front door of the property and we're here in the center of Pangborn. Butchers, hairdressers, pubs, restaurants, everything you could need, including the train station. So the train will get you into central London within 45 minutes. And you've also got my absolute favorite, the Aston Martin garage and never look back, never look back. Lamborghini. So we're just a minute now from the property at Beale Wildlife Park. I actually came here two weeks ago with my wife and my daughters. It was incredible. They've got a train that goes around the whole grounds. There's so over 160 animals, zebras, meerkats, birds, everything you could possibly wish for. Amazing food. There's a big pool, huge playground, sandpit. It's incredible. So perfect for the grown-ups with everything that Pangborn and Goring have to offer. But Beale Park, incredible for the kids. So thank you for joining me today on the tour of Mapleton Farm. It's an incredible home and I thought what better a place to finish than at the bar next to the outdoor heated pool. So there's a 116 year leasehold on this property and the amazing thing about that is you are completely protected. No new builds, nothing spoiling this incredible view and the government are working on and it's in writing to extend that to 997 years. So I'm gonna hold an exclusive open house in four weeks. I'd love to invite you and if you'd like any further information, please contact me on the details that follow.